The Alluvium Overworld can be fun and exciting, but can also be quite challenging to win fights in the Stage 3 regions. This is where the difficulty takes a giant leap, and you might not have powerful high tier alluvials, and they don't spawn often in Stage 2. Well, I'm Caveman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to break in to the Stage 3 regions with 5 different teams, and hopefully one of those, you'll be close to completing or already have all the alluvials for it, and then you'll be able to start venturing into these difficult but rewarding regions. I do have some tips to start off with. First, get tier three consumables and high tier shards. You want to have the best consumables that match and work with your current team. And when you do win, you need epic, resplendent, and master shards to capture these wild creatures. Two, when you do hop in a fight, you need to first check the enemy modifications in that top right corner. If they have five, and one of them is that overall damage boost or the star, you should most likely just escape and keep your alluvial integrity high. Three, if you enter a fight and their team counters your affinity or your element hard, you should just escape. The hyper system really builds off this counter mechanic and can quickly turn the tide of the fight even if it seems like you have an advantage. You can check which elements are strong and weak here, and you will also see the arrows next to that unit's stat bar. If it looks like they have a lot of units with three gold arrows, you're going to be in for a fight. And you will know you lost due to this because at the end of the fight, their whole team will be Super Saiyan with gold bars all over the place. Four you will want a high tier weapon. If possible, go mine the resources till you make a tier five and that works with one of the teams that I'm gonna explain in just a second. For other tips and tricks, I would highly suggest checking out this video here where I have a comprehensive guide going over everything in the Luvial overworld up until stage three. Uh, so that's a really good fundamentals and base there. But now let's jump into the five teams, starting with the Empath Box. This was actually one I got from a Hyperion community member, Quants. Uh, and honestly, this is the cheapest and most effective team I've seen. It really surprised me when I tested it. It's very simple. All you have to do is get six Empaths and then three Bulwarks and pick a corner. Just tuck them in. Even with tier zero reveals, this can win against some crazy fights. So if you're not an auto battler master, this is the team for you. Just place all your units in a corner really tuck them in and then place your bulwark tanks on the outer ring where you're assuming you're expecting the enemies to come if there's rogues make sure that they're picking them up uh, and just really position it so it's nice there for this comp you're going to want to get those energy jelly fruit on your empaths so they're quickly getting out their abilities and then you're going to want to have defensive flora balls on your three bulwarks or if you go up to nine empath your three more tanky empaths now if the enemy team has low damage you could run the dragon eggs on those bulwarks or that outer ring just give a little bit of extra damage over time and that'll help you know your team overwhelm them in heals and shields now for your ranger you're going to want to have a staff that's just water or air and your final synergy should be a mixture of three nature, three air, three water, and or three earth. If you manage to score a Scarabok and a Stoic Terralynx, this can make you really strong and have a balanced team. Uh, so if you can get those Bulwarks in and get three Earth with those, that's a huge way. Uh, and really, the only counter to this team is if there's Fire Rose. You see that? You probably just want to escape and try again. The next team is Nine Earth. This is another one from a hype member, Soda, and it is going all in on Earth. You can run Predator or Berserker, uh, and as long as you have one of those apes to stage two, you will also need a sword or a dagger to bond depending on which ape you're trying to get that done or you can have both uh, for different situations you will also need the terra links and a scarabok in this one just to have a comprehensive team and get that nine earth it's important to get there so you have all that extra grit and resolve which is flat defense and flat energy defense really good just make it so they can't kill you pretty quick uh, and then with that you're going to have your consumables or a dragon egg so that just the damage over time just kind of eats through them along with your typical damage from your uh, berserker or your predator or all your units in general uh, and that's one way to chew through or you can add those gumbo drops that attack speed and attack damage buffs on your carry units and that should help shred through the enemies now you will have to escape from most water and air fights as hyper will overwhelm you since you're all in on earth so that's just something you have to consider. And moving on to the next team, which is a subjective one based on what you've caught. If you manage to pull specifically a Seer, Jotun, Umber, or Scoriox, 
you can quickly make a team around them just by building a bulwark army and then getting a weapon that will bond with that specific unit granting the composite class and affinity and just make them a super carry and that'll be good to go for me that's actually how i broke into stage three i got lucky with a scoriox in stage two i then built that bulwark army around it bottom time and he ramped up and was just a gatling cannon tearing through the enemies now if for some reason you manage to get a ramp fire or a phosphorus you can do the same thing uh, just build a team around them and you'll be easily crushing these stage three regions uh, but if you do i hate you i'm still hunting for those i have over 100 hours and cannot find them if you've caught them let me know in the comments below i want to know how far behind am i right now but moving on to the next team berserker verdant now if you're someone who's not lucky, this is the team I would suggest grinding out and leveling up Ripters to the Rye Plants, that's stage three. This is probably the best tier three or below that you can really make a carry for. And then adding five bulwark once again to that with Verdant, you're gonna be able to buy a bunch of time to allow your Rye Plants and then you add a monk you're in to get um, your Berserker, make that Ranger a Berserker. Uh, and now you've got three Berserker, three Toxic. They're gonna ramp up super fast because you have your bulwarks possibly thir three earth in there as well you're gonna be able to survive plenty of time you're gonna win fights this is a solid comp this is actually what i used for most of my like just trying to find alluvials in stage three so this is one i would highly suggest uh you are gonna want to have hp and defense balls for your, your your bulwarks maybe dragon eggs if they have a low dps team and then uh, obviously attack speed buff get those gumbo drops for your berserkers and you should be shredding through the enemy teams pretty easily the last comp is six rogue three bulwark and I will mention this is the rogue DPS build and it's a fun one. Uh, if you're trying to quickly burn through fights, basically just throw any six rogues together, three bulwarks, and then try to balance out hyper or have options to counter their hyper. And this will chew through teams fast. Now, if they do have mods that give them bonus resistance and health, those are actually the ones you typically want to skip because as soon as your bulwarks are dead, your rogues will then quickly get finished off. Um, so this is super effective against squishy teams that have really squishy backline. Uh, you can make your ranger a wildfire or mud uh, and obviously predator uh, if you were near bonding to some of those stage one uh, units there. But you will need some consumables obviously and I would suggest having gumbo drops or dragon eggs for your rogues. The dragon eggs can help chew through some of those bulwarks if there is a backline bulwark. It just gives that true damage which can be super useful. And then having the HP and defense consumables for your bulwarks just keeping them alive as long as possible. Now, just a reminder, these teams will not win every fight. There are just some that will not be winnable, and it's important to learn where your team can survive and when it struggles. And as soon as you start figuring that out, you'll start enjoying the stage three a lot more. And then once you start winning, you're going to start collecting all these other new tier five alluvials. You can start branching out and upgrading your team and building what you really want to do. Now, if you are still struggling to win these stage three fights, you have one of these teams or even better, and you just can't figure out the positioning or how to work in hyper mechanic or any other issue that you're having, join the Hyperion Discord. I've left the link below in the description. Um, it's a great community of hardcore gamers for Alluvium. There's generally always someone in the Discord voice channels that can help you, especially if you have something really nice that you don't want to lose. Just pop in there real quick, share, share your screen. I'm sure someone will help you out there. I'm in there quite often too, but uh, it's just a great place, really fun uh, group of people to hang out with. But that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time at Caveman logging off.